Google is changing their attribution model and it's quite a big news. It will have a major impact on how we do advertising on Google and uh, how we spend our money. Let's see what it means, uh, what are these new changes and how do they compare to Facebook because uh, Facebook does something quite similar and they did it for a long, long time. So uh, traditionally Google attribution was based on the last click model, meaning that you click on an ad, you buy something and that was a conversion. Very simple, very easy to understand. Uh, no other um, things involved, well, in theory, but that, that's the basic stuff. Now, what's going to happen is Google will say, you saw an ad, you didn't necessarily click on it, but because of something that we know, uh, that um, ad will generate a conversion uh, and will be reported as such. And uh, it's called uh, data-driven attribution. Doesn't sound really new, of course, because we had something uh, similar with, uh, on Facebook since the very beginning, I think, or a long time ago, uh, called view through attribution. But Facebook removed view through attribution a few months ago when they uh, implemented iOS 14.5 privacy related changes. So what's going on? Is Google uh, adding a sort of attribution that Facebook just uh, thrown away or no, no, let's see. Let's dig into this uh, a bit deeper and you'll see that actually both companies are doing um, almost the same thing and for almost the same reasons. Now, why was um, one click attribution model very powerful and uh, very well suited for Google's uh, ads? It's simple. Google uh, ads were mostly served on search. So you go on Google, you search for something, you see an ad, you click on it, you buy because you are interested in the product and that's it. Very simple process. Google makes a lot of money. The advertiser makes a lot of money. The client is happy because they found what they wanted to uh, find. Now, Google is expanding and they don't have only search. They have uh, other properties as well, like YouTube. And you watch this video on YouTube, uh, maybe you see an ad, the video will be cut, um, you will see a short video, you will skip it and you will continue to watch the video. You don't simply jump on that um, link in the ad and buy the product. No, no, because you're not interested in uh, that product, you, you don't look for it. But the fact that you saw the ad will have an influence. Maybe in a day or two you will think about that product, you will see a different ad, or, I don't know, and you will buy that product. Well, with data-driven attribution, Google will start to report that as a conversion as well. And uh, you can easily recognize that this was Facebook's problem since the beginning. You don't go on Facebook to look for products, usually. You go to do something else, in theory to uh, interact with your friends. In practice, I don't know. Uh, so the ads there were not exactly uh, making you to jump on a product right away. You saw an ad, maybe you click on it, maybe you didn't, and after a while you bought that product and Facebook reported that as a view through conversion. That's what Google is doing now. They try to report data driven attribution for ads that were uh, served to a, a, a visitor that later on bought the product, converted without necessarily clicking on the ad. So it's very easy to see uh, why they do this. Now, I mentioned before that Facebook used to have click view through attribution and they removed it. So uh, is Google doing something that Facebook doesn't do anymore? Not really, because um, Facebook also has now something called model conversion. Model conversion sounds really similar to data driven attribution, right? Because in essence, it's the same thing. With model conversion, they report a conversion when they think that there was a conversion, not necessarily when they track it with the pixel, the Facebook pixel or with the conversion API. So it's more or less the same thing. It covers view through attribution as well, but it's not limited to view through attribution. It covers other stuff 
maybe there was no pixel or there was no conversion API and they can still uh, guess and uh, report a conversion in that a very specific scenario related more to privacy than anything else. So uh, Google does it and it's a new thing for them, but Facebook may, chances are they also do it with model conversion. We have a video about model conversion. I will link it in, in the description. I will also uh, add a link to a Google uh, blog post about uh, data-driven attribution. And uh, one last thing, uh, you have the option to change and to select the attribution model on Google. So uh, I think they have five possible ways to, to do attribution. One of them is the classic, the old uh, last click based model. But from now on, the default will be data driven attribution. And it works that I just explained it. Uh, what it means for us, I think we will uh, see more attribution on channels that were not um, so popular before, um, maybe YouTube ads and advertising, uh, advertiser will start to spend more money on that channels as well. So uh, I think Google will uh, see a different uh, budget allocation and uh, probably budget uh, in increase as well because uh, people will be happy to see conversions on other channels and they, they will start to spend money there as well. Uh, does it make sense? Maybe. But the, the, the biggest disadvantage here is that we will not be able to understand and to see how it works. Uh, because all we can do with this data-driven attribution is to trust Google, to trust that they report the conversion correctly, because otherwise we have no way to um, double check it. Before it was more uh, easy to understand the last click click on an ad, buy the product, that's it, very simple. Now, uh, serve the ad, maybe see it, maybe ignore it, who knows. Then, for some reason, they bought the ad and uh, it was a conversion. We will have this um, uh, conflict or double counting between uh, Facebook and uh, uh, between Google and other um, advertisers. For, for example, Facebook, if you do advertising on both, they might both report that as a conversion because you saw an ad on YouTube, um, never click on it, but Google thinks that um, the, the purchase that later occurred was a conversion because of the YouTube ad. Facebook will claim the same thing and you see, you'll see the same conversion reported by uh, both uh, Facebook and Google. Well, that's uh, that's very, very possible. So uh, this is the new thing. Uh, our advertising world is changing, is improving, and it's more and more data-driven and uh, less uh, and less transparent.